All right, just got my nails done. They came out so good. Yeah, guys, so the situation is pretty bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hands look at, oh, what happened with my hand? Oh no. All right, we watched The Bachelor and now we're taking a walk. You guys, I have no, no words. I have no words. All right, we are diving into more of our spring cleaning saga. And today we are going to be tackling the walk-in closet. The walk-in closet has been a mess for a long time and i'm at the point now where like a lot of clothes don't even really fit properly or i just have too much probably need to pack away some winter stuff we've just got a lot to do so i figured you guys could watch in a little time lapse so yeah guys so the situation is pretty bad pretty bad it's it's not as bad as it looks but like this is so this is my pajama drawer I can't even fit all my pajamas in the pajama drawer, so, and like, a lot of these I don't even wear. I don't even like half these pajamas, so, to donate. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Everything went so well. I have three full black trash bags to go donate to Savers. So underwear drawers on top, I purged that. Oh, now like it's comfortable. Like it's not stuffed to the brim. My pajama drawer. In here I have um, my period undies and sleep bottoms from Thinks. Strapless bras, tights. I put all my jeans in here because I only have maybe like six pairs of jeans old navy target ava and viv i think good american um venus so they're all in there because i don't wear jeans that often and then in here is my pants i had so so many pairs of sweatpants and most of them were too big so most of that was the donation at tbh so we've got shorts 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 I'll go through these when the weather's warmer and like try them on, see how they fit. I just didn't feel like doing it right now. Sweats, um, sweats, joggers, sweats. So that's that area. And then on the other side, this is my activewear cabinet. We've got tops, tops, biker shorts, tops, leggings, leggings, sports bras, and faux leather leggings from Spanx, my favorite. And yeah, I have all these hangers from stuff that I purged as well from the hanger area. But now I am sweaty, so I'm gonna go shower because that was actually a lot. That took me about an hour and a half. Not too bad. I thought it would take longer. Many hours later. All right, just got my nails done. They came out so good. I love them. I got them too match my toes i love it like 
um, on my toes is Cajun Shrimp from OPI. This is a dip powder, so I don't know the name of it. Okay, natural highlight. <laughs> but I matched it like almost perfectly. So very excited about that. But now I'm gonna go drop off those donations from this morning at Savers. Got a lot back there that Yar put in for me. All right, so I just got back home. I was sitting in traffic forever. It's four o'clock, so it was like prime rush hour vibes. So I'm actually gonna go for a quick walk. Just get my body moving a little bit because I love that now it doesn't get like really dark until like 5.30. So I'm gonna go for a quick walk and then I wanna try to make some air fried firecracker shrimp for dinner. It's gonna be so good, I can feel it. It's a little cold. <laughs> When the sun is on me, it's okay, but it's colder than I thought. I should have worn a coat. I'm only wearing like a thick sweater. Still enjoying my walk. All right, time to make some dinner. I'm going to attempt the air fried firecracker shrimp. So as you guys know, I like the baby shrimp. So these are cooked. And I'm just going to put them in the air fryer on 400 for five minutes. That's what Google told me. And then I'm going to attempt to make a firecracker sauce to toss them in after. Okay, so I just filmed a TikTok as I made the shrimp. It came out so good. I'll insert the TikTok here. Let's make some air fried firecracker baby shrimp. I filmed that like three times and I can't stop saying shrimp. Sorry. I personally like little shrimp. They're better than the big shrimp. That's just me. I'm currently preheating my air fryer to 400 and then we're gonna cook those in there for five minutes, shake them halfway. For the sauce, I Googled the sauce. We need sweet chili sauce, garlic powder, sriracha, ginger, I don't have any fresh, don't judge me, lemon zest and lemon juice. Half a cup of sweet chili sauce, the juice from one lemon, about a half a teaspoon of sriracha, about a half a teaspoon of that ginger, a little bit of garlic powder, some salt, and about two tablespoons of honey and lemon zest. In my own addition, a little koopy mayo. I made enough sauce to store in the fridge for a few days. It's a lot of sauce. All right, they're ready. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm, sweet, spicy, tangy, so good. Definitely follow me on TikTok. I've been posting there a lot more. Yar is gone for army weekend, so it's just your girl. But I'm just watching the new H3 and eating my shrimp. <laughs> but honestly, it's really, really good. It's kind of sweet, a little spicy. Um, I thought about it after and by doing it in the air fryer, I meant to like do the cornstarch thing to like make them more crispy and instead I just like cooked them like normal shrimp. So I think it'd be even better if I could get them kind of crunchy with the cornstarch in the air fryer. But regardless, really quick meal, really quick. So I woke up at 5 a.m. and couldn't go back to sleep. I just watched TikTok for an hour. It's six o'clock. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Also... Last night, uh-oh, uh-oh, hands looking, oh, what happened with my hand? Oh, no, oh, no. Last night, I'm watching TikTok <laughs> at 10 o'clock, and I saw a girl with the prettiest self-tan, and I was like, got to get up and self-tan. So I self-tanned. I have to go wash it off. I didn't do my express. I have, um, also, I have my retainer in, <laughs> but I have the St. Tropez Ashley Graham one which is not an express um because you guys know i've been loving that amazon express one so i still need to go wash it off so it's not gonna look this crazy after i shower but i was like "Ooh, i can let it develop for eight hours fun but look at my hand oh no i never have issues with my hand anymore what the hell happened oh i hope this is just the bron the, the the bronzer and it washes off after we shower oh no oh no oh god all right i'll see you after i shower Currently drying my toner and serum, <laughs> but the tan came out so good. It's really subtle, just like very natural. I must have slept weird on the hand. It's not the worst. You can't notice it unless I like put it in your face. All right, and here was the self tanner. Sorry, it's a little dirty. Um, the Saint Tropez Ashley Graham and the Lux Whipped Cream Mousse, and then I used both. My normal applicator and this long one to reach my back when Yara isn't home. One perk of getting up early is the gorgeous sunrise. Okay, so one of the first things I like to do in the morning on an empty stomach is drink my greens. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by Athletic Greens. And I'm so 
happy they wanted to work together because I have been so into drinking my greens in the morning. Like full transparency, I am not great with vegetables. <laughs> Um, I've said before I'm much more of a fruit girl and being able to like drink my greens and like get all these nutrients in my body you know just through a drink is awesome like the fact that I can get 75 vitamins and minerals in one glass is the best so I put mine in this canister here I'll have a link down below to get the AG1 immunity bundle that comes with a one-year supply of vitamin D and five individual travel packs for free with your purchase it fits all of my dietary restrictions it's keto low carb paleo vegan vegetarian like there's no gmos no gluten no dairy um and it literally makes me feel more energized it's good for your immune system gut health digestion liver function hormone function brain and neural function um your body's normal detox process it also helps with blood sugar levels as well which was another reason i was really excited to start using this you guys know I've actually been struggling a little bit with low blood sugar since my surgery and I haven't had an issue since I started using this so I'm hoping it's kind of helping to regulate my blood sugar levels. All right, I'm just gonna get some cold water. And I do one scoop in here and I like to use this thing that I had bought for my hot cocoa bar over winter but it really just mixes it so nicely or you can just like shake it in a bottle but yeah super easy and voila cheers so i drink this on an empty stomach in the morning usually just take my vitamins with it tbh and free with your first purchase you get the vitamin d dropper this is awesome for your immune system it's got vitamin d3 vitamin k2 one little drop every day just a great thing to add like i honestly don't mind the taste i feel like with most of these kind of things i'm like repulsed but um, it's pretty easy to get down. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. It's such an awesome, like beneficial product. Every day I really feel like I'm doing something good for my body, um, especially as my body's been changing and I've been working on my health. Like it's such a great staple to add into your morning routine. Click my link below to get AG1 immunity bundle that comes with a one year supply of vitamin D and five individual travel packs for free with your purchase. This combo is a game changer for supporting your immune system. And AG1 is the quickest, easiest, and tastiest healthy habit to fill those nutritional gaps in my diet. And AG1 is available in the US, Canada, UK, and Europe. You guys can click my link below. So I think I'm gonna do my makeup and get some filming done because I have some stuff I wanna film for you guys. But first, makeup. <laughs>
here is the finished look and I just went ahead and threw in some dry shampoo kind of just touched up my blowout with my little uh Lange airflow I love this thing whether I'm going straight curly I can flip the underneath like this is my favorite hair tool I will link it I always tell you guys about it like it's all I use for everything so um for the foundation I am still completely in love with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. It's almost very similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but it has like a little bit more coverage in my opinion, but it's just like the most beautiful, beautiful foundation. Um, Cause I only have the color six to match my self tan. So I'm like, when I'm self tan, I'm like, I'm gonna use this. I need to grab it in my pale shade. Cause I just love it. The blonde is still kicking. I haven't washed my hair yet since the hair appointment, but um. Nothing a little dry shampoo can't fix. I also used my hair dryer for my dry shampoo because I've been seeing everywhere, especially on TikTok, that like if you kind of want to get rid of the white cast more, use your hair dryer. And I do feel like it helped a lot more than usual. On my lips, I'm wearing my literal go-to lip, the Hue Lip Liner from Makeup by Mario and then the Nude Dior Liquid Lipstick all the time. Um, my blush, I'm just letting you guys know because I know someone will ask. Um, the Super Blossom Babe, Cherry Blossom Babe from Nude Sticks, Chanel on top, and uh, that's that's it. NYX Brow Pomade. All right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go do some work. I have a lot of filming to do today, so I will check back in later, but got to get my grind on. All right, so the, one of the perks about getting up so early it's not even 10 o'clock and I've done so much work this morning. Um, I filmed a TikTok, a YouTube, edited the YouTube and it's uploading already. The Old Navy haul I just filmed was so good. <sighs> Again, I think that'll be up before this vlog, but um, I got more of my favorite quilted joggers. I got this cute little um, just cropped t-shirt, but I also got some really, really cute um, like dresses. My bra strap always flips and it's like on the loosest notch or whatever. Um, but really cute stuff. Really great haul. Old Navy is killing it. So, um, it's not even 10 o'clock, <laughs> but I'm going to run a couple errands and I'm going to go visit my mom because we have an episode of The Bachelor to watch. Is it Fantasy Suites or Hometowns? I don't remember. We're behind so we're gonna go watch that and just hang out with my mom i'm gonna crash so hard around like 1 p.m all right i just ran to the bank i have on one of the outfits from old navy these quilted joggers and this oversized cropped hoodie it's really 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 cozy um i'm getting tired i'm definitely getting tired um but i'm in line to get some diet lemonade before my drive because uh it's a long drive and I like to have a beverage while I drive. It's interesting, the whole Diet Coke thing, um, because like, I really, really, really missed it at first. And like, some days I still really do, but some days it gets easier, you know? So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's weird to just not have anything with bubbles anymore. Like, I love carbonated beverages, and I look back and it's been like four months and I haven't had diet coke or anything side note the only weird thing about these quilted joggers is the pilling between my thighs is kind of weird like it's really easy to pull off but it looks like this <laughs> like it's like stringy but that's just a thick thigh problem but it, it's not like i don't know it's whatever i just pull them off but yeah i've been thinking if i'm like oh should i just never have diet coke again like you've made it this far like should you just not go back but I'm like, do I really just like never want to have it again? Like, I'm afraid if I open the door, like when I can open the door, I'm like, will I just, should I just not, should I just not open the door? Anyway, I might just be delirious because I'm tired. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Cause I am getting used to having just like sugar-free drinks, like a diet lemonade or crystal light or just water, I like always have my water with me and I know that's better for me but you know what when the time comes maybe I'll just try like a sip of Diet Coke and see if it slaps and just be like you know do I really miss having this in my life but who, who am I kidding it's gonna slap anyway off to see my mom
She got a fresh roll of quarters for the good old Boston parking meters. All right, we watched The Bachelor and now we're taking a walk. Yes. Mama yes, got indeed. low blood sugar, so we're I got we're low blood down. sugar, so we're just chillaxing, waiting uh, for it to come back up. We're gonna go that way. And uh, Good they haven't seen your blonde hair yet and they wanted to see it. Oh, I don't know, guys, why I have a hat on now, but like. She's back. Yeah. Blonde is back. Yeah. Easier for the grays. Oh my gosh, so much easier, guys. <laughs> you know, like the white is almost like a platinum because it's white, mm -hmm. so it blends in. The roots blend in so beautifully. Stress free now, just stress free. Stress free? Did, oh, did you see that dog? dog? He yes. didn't like it. <laughs> he spoke to <laughs> That was so cute. He went up to the duck and was like, oh, did not like and it. And he backed away. That was really that was funny. So and he's scoping out the little ones. Oh, he's not sure. No, he doesn't. He does not like it. He's so sus. <laughs> okay, I'm heading home from my mom's house and I did bring with me a return i have to go do it old navy from the hall um i just want to size down so hopefully they have it in store if not i'll probably just get like a store credit or something but old navy was popping if you haven't seen that video yet they had oh my god just so so much cute stuff and i also need to do a target run just for like necessities um but i'm contemplating if i have the energy to do it today or if i should go tomorrow morning so We'll see, uh, we'll see how we feel. <laughs> All right, so I did my old Navy return and now I'm just poking around because it's what I do. Um, but I found this really cute neon hoodie on sale for 20 bucks, originally 50. It's like one of their athletic ones, but it's super cute. And I love this just plain t-shirt. I love the beige, but honestly, like, could I pull this off? <laughs> this pink denim jumpsuit it's kind of amazing all right so i just grabbed those things that you saw i did not grab the pink jumpsuit and then i grabbed another just little cropped t-shirt that i wear all the time in a different color i'm like am i really up to go to target right now <sighs> it's 4 15 and i'm crashing all right you guys i am home i did end up going to target i ended up filming a very small tiktok as well of like a shop with me asmr style um all i did was pick up a few groceries nothing exciting you guys can see it there um i have our sheets in the dryer i wash our sheets every weekend i'm catching up on single drunk female Is it just single drunk female all of a sudden i can't remember the name of the show and Pivoting, those are the two shows I have on my DVR right now. And then Gabby and I are gonna watch the reunion of Love is Blind at the same time. So I'm just waiting for her to get home from work so we can watch it together and like text while we watch it. Gabby is finally ready to watch the finale, the reunion of Love is Blind. So I will report back as the grand finale of this vlog as well because I've been hearing some crazy things and I cannot, oh, I can't wait to watch this. You guys, I have no, no words. I have no words. So Gabby and I were texting that whole time, like the whole hour long, just the whole time. We started at the same time, it was really fun. Um, you can click off if you haven't watched it yet, but I just want to give a few spoilers. Um, this is the end of the vlog anyway, so if you haven't seen it yet and you're going to watch it, click off. Um, but if you haven't watched it and you're still here, you should click off anyway and you should go watch Love is Blind because it was so freaking good. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish you guys could see me and Gabby's conversation, but it's it's insanely long. But um, Shake, what is you doing? When Nick and Vanessa like popped off on him, I was like... Everyone, it, it was just, oh, I don't even know what to say. I just don't even know what to say. Um, I kind of love, oh, sorry, that uh, Kyle and Deep D seem to be together. Um, you know, they, they had that little moment on the show, but then um, I've seen a TikTok where they're together. I mean, I don't know if they're together, but they were like physically together in the same room <laughs> but like there's tea that like they might be a couple now or at least like dating or starting to date I don't know um what else Ooh, I don't know I feel sad about Natalie and Shane um 
yeah that was sad i also want to know more about what happened with sal and mallory sal is personally my favorite um i really i was rubbed the wrong way with the whole Jarrett and mallory situation like the talk about the ring and all that stuff that was a little that was just too sus i didn't like that i felt bad for ayana um ayana is so freaking pretty like oh she's just so stunning and i'm glad that Jarrett is more you know chilling out and not going out as much late anyway and like i don't know they seem happy nick and danielle seem happy shana didn't say much did she say much i feel like she didn't say much and ultimately i feel like kyle got to express his feelings and kind of release like why did you ever even say yes to me because like real talk why the hell did you ever even say yes to him um i think i feel like kyle really wanted her to say like he wanted her to just admit like you wanted chain like don't blame it on the religion like just admit you wanted chain you know what i mean i feel like that's what he wanted her to say i could be wrong but uh yeah that was, oh, that was an amazing amazing reunion like shake does not know when to stop talking i'm like I, th I think I think Ayana was right. I think he's definitely a narcissist. I think he gets off on any attention, including negative. Um, but uh, I don't know. The show that they previewed, um, The Ultimatum, looks really good. I think Gabby and I are going to watch that together. Um, because <laughs> that looked really, really good. So, okay, Netflix. Coming through with the content. But um leave your two cents about the reunion down below let's chat about it and um i love you guys so much i will see you again in another video very very soon <laughs> bye